key of imagination. Okay, this is part two. Now that the play field was sized correctly there, and it's filling up a good portion of the area for us, you may have noticed some uh, red over here on the left, on the backdrop view right over here. And for now, that's fine, because how how I'm going to handle this one, even though there, there are like six ways of doing this that, that I've used before on other tables, the easiest method for this kind of table, for me, is with a wall. So I'm going to put this wall over here, and it was 952 width originally, so that will be the halfway mark right there. And then we'll drop that all the way down, 52, all the way down to the bottom of the table, which generally is 2000, but in this case we used 1974. So, 1974, here, up there, 0 in 1974. Now we have one wall here, I'm going to lock that down so I can't move it around anywhere. And when that renders, with the default height of 50, that should get, get rid of that red dot right there. Now, because this will be in a cabinet, I'm going to set the default color to black. That really doesn't make much difference. And as you'll see in the future, I'll save this for now, we're uh, working on the back glass next. So, for back glasses, without the internet, we would be in big trouble. There. IPDB, Internet Pinball Database, to the rescue again. Solid State Williams, that's the one that we're working on. This is from uh, Mr. Hyde at 1024 by 906. Check that out. As you can see, it's curved right here at the top. Curves are bad. It's curved down there at the bottom too, and it's so it's cropped so close that there's really not not much to work with there. Reverse. In order to be doing this, you're going to be looking at a whole bunch of graphics for back glasses. That's a little better. This has the frame right there for it, so we have some, something to work with. Maybe he has a better copy on his site here. These are all alphabetized, and I use this site a lot. Jump up to page 6 to L. Lock. Lucky 7. There we go. Click it up to full res. This will need some editing work, like for the displays, but, uh, Right there is an error. But the graphic is good because it's very high res. And as soon as that is shrunk down, this shouldn't look very blurry anymore. That's the front of the glass there. Save that out. Go ahead and do a search for. Um, Back glasses. eBay is always good for this stuff if you don't need it very high quality. There's a bat too. That's better than the uh, internet pinball database. It's a little bit clearer. Um, this one you can't save the image, so using alt print screen, I'll save everything in that window. I'm back over to my editing software. I'm going to crop that out for now. It's 
sometimes you aren't a able to find those backs for these uh, pinball games so easily. Got that there. Make sure I saved it in the right place. Yeah. That's my Lucky 7 work folder. Now, in order to fix these, like I said, those images are curved. The best tool I've found for that is called Photo Brush. Google search for that, and Softpedia has the download link for that. It's free for like one month. Trialware. I think we're all done with this stuff here online for our purposes. So we're going to kill all that. Slow brush, continue to use it on trial. Now, in order to fix this with photo brush, you're going to use barrel distortion at 13. That's the best uh, saying that, that I found for that. And after that, you're going to use perspective correction which has this little box which you simply drag to the limits of the image that, that you want to use. And it'll do everything else here for you. You can zoom in on it to make sure that it lines up correctly. As close as possible. Do it on bicubic at all times because that is the best. That's fairly quick too. Save that again. And then we're going to do the same thing to the front image from Mr. Hyde's website there. He really does take the best photos I've seen. Well, Distortion 13 again. This one will take it a little bit longer because it's much higher res. And some of these will be quick and some of them will take a while because of the frames and stuff. It will be uh, really hard to, to see. I pushed in a little on the right. What I'm trying to do here is line up these dots at the top. Looks pretty close. This can take a lot of time. Good enough. Okay. Save that back out again. Alright, so we go back over to photo paint, open up those two images. Front and back. Now for the back here, because it's the back, it's reversed, so we're going to first off uh, flip it over. And then copy it. Zoom out here. 